Alright guys, so today I'm doing another unboxing as per usual, another Hoya unboxing. This one is my first time Hoya purchase from an uh, from Instagram. Um, I found them through Instagram and so this is my first purchase from them. This is from a seller called Plant the Studio. I'll leave their Instagram and their little side screen so you guys can look at that. But yeah, this is from the Plant Studio. I found them on Instagram. And um, this is my first time ordering from them. I saw that they have multiple Hoyas in their um, in their store. And they also sell on Etsy. So they sell on Etsy and they also have their own um, website that you can, um, you know, get through um, with Instagram. But anyways, this is Hoya Lee or Lai. Hoya L-Y-E. Hoya Lee is um, native to China and... Um, I do love uh, chow mein and uh, combination fried rice and um, wonton soup, dumplings, um, vermicelli noodles, rice. Oh, I mean, I love Chinese food and um, Cantonese and Mandarin style. Um, but anyway, so this is my box. And let's just get started with the unboxing. So Hoya Li, Hoya from China, Hoya. Chi Some people call it Hoya China because it's literally from China. Um, this Hoya comes from um, a very dry, but at the same time, kind of um, cold weather. So it's hardy in the cold temperatures. I'm not sure how it's gonna do in the hotter months, like come spring and summer, as opposed to Hoya's loving spring and summer. From what I found is that this Hoya does um, like it. Um, when the temperatures kind of drop down and and fall below zero, or not below zero, but far below, you know, like a certain amount. As opposed to other Hoyas, they like it when it's really hot and humid and, and you know, this one doesn't. It's very closely related to Thomsonia in the look. Um, I've seen multiple pictures on, on online and the flowers look very nice and cute, kind of like a Rotundiflora mix. I'm not really sure if they're true or not to the Hoya, but um, if, if you go to Google and you search Hoya Lee flowers, you get some of the most amazing flowers I've seen on a Hoya. So let's just go ahead. I'm having a little bit of trouble opening the box because I'm using this little wire. But um, so when I was doing research on this Hoya, I couldn't really find much. Um, just, oh my God, I can't with this box. Let me just. Uh, Oh my god. So, so when I was doing my research, um, you guys know that every, every time I get a new Hoya, I like to do my research on the Hoya and see um, where it could grow best in Lekka, in Cocoa Husks, or in whatnot. So this Hoya, I came to find that it grows in limestone, it really likes in growing in limestone. And I don't have anything similar to that, so I'm a little bit worried that I might actually kill this plant. So I should have done my research before buying the plant. But anyways, this is the plant. Um, well, this is the packaging. Very re beautiful packaging. Okay, it's wrapped up like a nice bubble wrap. The box, it's great. Um, it feels very light, like I could literally hold it with my pinky. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So yeah, I was searching that this plant really does not like to grow in a lot of humid conditions. I'm not sure about that, guys, because, like I said, I was looking on YouTube for videos on this one, and I just couldn't find one, so I am a little bit skeptical as to believe it or not. I know that Lesia Lee spot one, and she also made an unboxing on her on Instagram. So um, if you guys don't follow Lesia Sleeves, um, I'll leave her Instagram link down below, but I'm pretty sure you guys do. If you guys like Koyas, you guys probably know her already. Packaging here is Planta Studio in a sticker, and it kind of reminds me of um, Unsolicited Plant Talks Hoyas and the uh, Studio Jesse James because they kind of package their Hoyas similar to this. Also, something I forgot to mention, guys, right here on the side, you, that crazy stuff right there is one of my uh, ghetto humidity boxes, and I bought that uh, nasty um, grow light, which I hate. Um, I really don't like it. It looks very awful and it, the height, it's not too so tall so that my Hoyas are not getting the light from above. They're kind of getting it from the side because the, um, 
the, the pole, whatever, it's not so high. It can only go up to four uh, feet. And I wanted it to be six feet or taller. And unfortunately, that one, it just doesn't work for me. And <sighs> anyways, back to the Hoya. Let's just go ahead and see how this baby looks. Hoya Ali. You guys are seeing it before I do. Can you see something? Oh no, okay, so it comes in this nice, um, oh look at that, look at this, look at that guys, it's so nice, I think it looks so nice and so dainty and little, but at the same time so nice and cute, um, uh, so yeah, I'm interested in seeing how this little Hoya is growing, it looks like it's in uh, pearl light, seems to be in pearl light and... Um, maybe Lechuza Pond? I'm not really sure when it comes to Lechuza Pond, how it looks and stuff like that because I've never used it before. I know that it's getting a lot of um, attention with a lot of um, Hoya growers. They're using it for their um, growing medium and I know that a lot of people I talk with on Instagram and on YouTube use it for their Hoyas um, and they have great results. Uh, I to me, this just looks like perlite and a little bit of sphagnum. Sphagnum and perlite is what the Hoya is in. It feels so sensitive though. I mean, not sensitive, it feels so fragile. So, you know, uh, looking at the leaves, they're very thin, but if you touch them, they're like, kind of like green beans. It feels soft and mushy. And the back of the leaves are actually kind of furry. They have a little bit, I see where it gets the resemblance to a Thomsonii because it's very, um, it does have very little, um, like little amounts of like fur, kind of like a Thomsonii. It's kind of furry. Oh my God, I really like this Hoya. I am a little bit scared as if I'm gonna kill it or not because it's so dainty and I'm scared. I've killed multiple little Hoyas like this before and I'm scared that I'm gonna kill this one. I'm just gonna keep it where it is. I'm gonna put a little bit of water give it a little bit of water and um, put it in my humidity grow box and see if it does good or not. I'm scared because I feel, for some weird reason, I feel like I'm gonna kill this Hoya. And uh, let me just do more close-ups, guys, because this Hoya looks beautiful. So, guys, so this Hoya is from uh, China. It's very nice and it kind of looks like a Lacunosa, if you guys are looking at it. Kind of like a Lacunosa, Croniana, Thamsani Eye, Bella. And um, the leaves are a little bit furry, not as furry as a Thomsonii, but the, the stem of it, like the tendril, it's, it has a little bit of hair, a little bit of, you know, stubble. And also the back of the leaves, um, not the front, but the back of the leaves are a little bit hairy. So maybe um, the new leaves do come a little bit more furry. Um, we will see about that. But overall, it looks really nice. What made me want to get this Hoya was that the look of the Hoya was uh, very nice and dainty and cute. And it reminded me of my Hoya Thomsonia, which is doing amazing, guys. Um, I got my Hoya Thomsonia from Unsolicited Plant Talks, and the first one that I got um, died on me. And so she was nice enough to send me a backup. So I'm, the backup she sent is doing wonderful. It grew three leaves and it's growing a tendril. So I'm very happy with my Hoya Thamsani eye, which I think I'm actually might just put this Hoya next to my Thamsani eye because they look kind of like similar. Kind of like if the Thamsani eye is the boy and the Lee is the sister. Um, so I'll probably do that. But on, anyways, I think it looks beautiful. I love the little furriness on the back of the leaves, the, the shape of the leaf. And it just looks really nice. However, I do feel like this Hoya is very small, very little. I was expecting it to be a little bit thicker, like the stem. You guys, I've mentioned it before that I do like my Hoyas to have like a thicker tendril, a thicker stem, because those are the Hoyas that I tend to do best with. And this one is completely opposite. It has a very thin stem, very, very thin. And the leaves are also very, um, they're thick, but at the same time, they're soft. And then when you touch them, they're velvety. Um, it, and I don't know. I for, I don't want to say this, but 60% I think I'm going to kill it. 40% I'll keep it alive. And we'll just see about that. Um, it's growing in um, perlite and, and sphagnum. I'm not really sure how to feel about this, but 
Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave me a comment down below what you guys like about this video. And um, until I see you guys next time, don't forget to drink water, water your plants, and uh, drink tea if you have some. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Kapung karigato kusama star. Bye.